and it shows connected for any of us that are online. No. Steve, if you look at your voting pad, you will notice there's a big blue bar across the bottom that says and present. It's, and it says if you present. Press, and if you press the word present on your voting pad, it will yeah. turn into a P and mark you present. Yeah. Well, what I'm saying is that the, the I thought that was just because I was distant instead of being actually in the room. Anyhow, yeah, I got it. It is showing you present now. Yep. Commissioner B. So we're just waiting on You're Commissioner welcome. Waddell. Is hey, is Brian there? I'm having issues with my uh, my pad connecting. Is Mayor Frank on? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and call the presentation portion of the August 17th, 2020 Anderson County Commission meeting to order. Um, first item we have is a proclamation for Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. Uh, that's gonna be read by Mayor Frank. Uh, thank you, Commissioner Anderson. And Stacy Pratt is here with us from Allies for Substance Abuse Prevention. And I don't know if Sarah Walsh is there or not. She might be. Yes, there's Sarah. Um, and they may want to speak a couple of minutes about this after we read the resolution. Whereas suicide is one of the most disruptive and tragic events a family in a community can experience with more than 1,100 lives lost in Tennessee each year and an estimated 25 attempted suicides for each suicide death. And whereas suicide is the ninth leading cause of all deaths in Tennessee, the second leading cause of death among youth ages 10 to 24, and the first leading cause of death for children ages 10 through 17. And whereas more than three lives a day are lost to suicide in Tennessee, which means we lose 22 Tennesseans each week and 97 people per month. And whereas Tennessee veterans, active duty military, and National Guardsmen face a dis disproportionate risk as compared to the general population with more dying from suicide than combat. And whereas public awareness of this tragic problem is the key to preventing further suffering and loss of life, and the risk for human self-destruction can be reduced through awareness, education, and treatment, as the highest risk for suicide is among the survivors of those who died by suicide or those who have attempted suicide. And whereas suicide prevention has been declared a state priority by the governor, and the Tennessee legislature has declared teen suicide prevention as a state priority in partnership with the Tennessee Suicide Prevention Network to implement the Tennessee strategy for suicide prevention. And whereas Tennessee is a national leader in the effort to prevent suicide, being one of the first states to develop a suicide prevention and evaluation plan covering the lifespan, and whereas the governor of Tennessee has appointed a suicide prevention network advisory council to coordinate the implementation of the Tennessee strategy for suicide prevention. And whereas the Tennessee suicide prevention network is a grassroots collaboration of Tennesseans and organizations working to eliminate the stigma of suicide, educate the community about the warning signs of suicide and ultimately reduce the rate of suicide in our state. And whereas 2020 marks Tennessee Suicide Prevention Network's 20th year of dedicated efforts to reach every Tennessean in every county. And whereas every member of our community should understand that throughout life's struggles, we all need occasional reminders that we are all silently fighting our own battles. 
And whereas we encourage all Tennesseans to take the time to inquire as to the well being of their family, friends, and to genuinely convey their appreciation for their existence by any gesture they deem appropriate. A simple phone call, message, handshake, or hug can go a long way towards helping someone realize that suicide is not the answer. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Anderson County Board of Commissioners meeting in regular session the 17th day of August 2020 that we proclaim September 2020 as Suicide Prevention Awareness Month and encourage all citizens to work to prevent suicide and raise awareness to all citizens affected by this tragedy. And uh, thank you, Chairman Anderson. And as you can see, um, I'm going to turn it over to uh, ASAP for some comments, but these numbers are staggering and saddening and um, absolutely break my heart. And I know they, as caring as you all as, are as commissioners, um, it breaks your heart as well. But Sarah, um, would you like to, I know you wanted to, to um, take the lead on this. Would you like to chime in? Yeah, thank you so much, Mayor Frank, for all of your support and um, just the encouragement that I've received from this um, county. I'm very, very thankful for that. But also thank you for reading that and just sharing the severity of suicide. Um, I work at the Tennessee Suicide Prevention Network. I am the East Tennessee Regional Director. So I am overseeing 16 counties and Anderson County is one of mine. Um, well, Anderson County doesn't have high rates of suicide. It is definitely still an issue and we want all counties in the state of Tennessee to be mindful and aware of um, suicide and suicide prevention efforts. And so this month we are going around county to county and getting the mayor's support and um, just declaring that September is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. So throughout the month, if you want to um, get involved in any efforts or any um, awareness activities, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, I know we have Mayor Frank's um, support. And so again, I just thank you so much for that. And again, thank you, Stacey Pratt, for all of your help as well from ASAP of Anderson. Um, but yeah, I would love to be a resource for you all. And I just am very passionate about suicide prevention um, and I'm an advocate for that. So if you need anything from me, please don't hesitate to reach out. And I just wanted to thank um, Sarah with TSPN for doing this and, and Mayor Frank and all of the commissioners for supporting this. Um, there is a, a large intersection between substance misuse and suicide and TSPN um, and all of the anti-drug coalitions like ASAP across the state um, work to support each other um, to reduce those risk factors and increase the protective factors to um, simultaneously reduce substance misuse and suicide. So we want to um, support these efforts as much as we can. Um, and we appreciate you guys doing that too. So thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank, thank you, Mayor, for reading that. Uh, next, we have a presentation by District Attorney General Dave Clark. He's, oh, he's going to come at 6.30. Okay. Uh, did any commissioners have any questions? Uh, yeah, uh, Steve, Steve Mead here. Uh, I noticed that the pro does the proclamation uh, is just signed by the mayor. Is that, or are we supposed to have that as something we approve during this meeting as a commission? I don't see it on the agenda specifically listed, except that it's part of this part of the program. Um, the... Maybe there was an oversight. The, the resolution actually has um, you all voting on it, and it has uh, Chairman Wandell's name signature line on there, and it is resolution 2008821. If we need to, if I didn't, I didn't even look at the consent agenda to see if it was on there. I'm sorry. Uh, I think we got an email from Jay. Maybe got, maybe got added late. Okay. Yes, that, that is correct. Mr. Chairman, this is Jay. Uh, it is 
it was added late. The other thing is it's on your consent agenda. If you look there, you'll see the yeah. Suicide Prevention Awareness Month there. Thank you. Any other questions? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to ask Sarah Walsh, and it may be in the uh, resolution and the mayor just read, and I apologize if it was, but I'd like to have her tell us, because um, obviously this affects a lot of people. It's affected my family, my brother. I lost a nephew due to suicide about this time last year. So uh, what, what I'd like to know is what else? Is there a website or anything that she could offer up where folks they're having any types of thoughts of this nature where they could reach out absolutely um and i i'm very sorry for your loss mr wandell i, I apologize for that. yeah suicide um, is affecting um, a lot of families these days um but one thing that i do know is resources are plentiful as ever so to answer your question um as the Tennessee Suicide Prevention Network, you can go online to tspn.org. Um, there's a wealth of knowledge there from resources to brochures you can print out. Um, they can also redirect you to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. That is a number that you can call or you can also go on, online to their website. Um, a local resource that I like to promote is the Tennessee Crisis Line. Um, that is a great resource or the Crisis Text Line. And I can send this information out to um, whoever or Annette, or if you want to write it down now, I can certainly give that to you as well. Um, but there's plenty of resources out there. And so the crisis text lines are more for any crisis, but I highly recommend the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline number. Mr. Chairman, if I could respond, Sarah, thank you very much for that information and certainly would like to have all of that information and maybe we can put it on our uh, county website to make it accessible and Hopefully the schools, I don't know if they uh, can distribute this information or they do. I know ASAP does a great job and maybe Stacy can help uh, in that regard, but I'd like to get all this information out as much as possible. Maybe we can show it on channel 95 as well, because you know, there's a lot of young younger folks that work very well with text and mm -hmm. probably feel more comfortable with that. So thanks again. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And to let you know, we are printing um, for the beginning of the school year credit card size cards for teen resource cards that includes the texting, um, the website chat, and the um, phone number for the uh, suicide prevention lifeline that she mentioned, as well as um, various other helplines and resources and quit lines and things like that um, that we're going to be distributing uh, through the schools and electronically. Um, as widely as, as possible um, with the middle high school uh, from state people. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Anyone else? Mr. Chairman. Yes, Commissioner Gutenberg. Thank you. Um, I would ask, having had personal happenings with this very issue. It's also very important for those who live with or associate with people who are having problems to be able to identify the signs um, that someone may be having a problem and an issue. And I think that is as important as just about anything else. And I would ask that um, if they would be so kind as to <clears throat> provide that information as well as contact for those who may be contemplating uh, committing suicide. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Dindenberg. Anyone else? If not, then this concludes the presentation portion and we'll be back at 6.30. Thank you. What's happened to the presentation by uh, Dave Clark? 
move to 630, Steve. Okay, thank you.